Experts at Morgan Stanley have been keeping an eye on Europe's deepening crisis. They say the likelihood of a Eurozone breakup apart is growing 35%. Ron Hart is the managing director of wealth management at Morgan Stanley. It's with one um, Ron, look, when you say 35%, I think of that as a third. It's less than a half. It's more than a quarter. But I'm still not sure if you think it's going to happen. This is uncharted waters. It's hard to uh, pro forma situations that have never happened in, in the world economy before. So at, at best, it's a guess. Our more likely scenario is a 40% chance that we muddle through. Uh, they call it stagger on, which is some derivation of all these possibilities in, in fiscal policy included, uh, and that it holds together in some form or format. But you know, we put our best people together. They thought it through. Uh, you're trying to coordinate cultures and countries and physical policies. I mean. Hard to get people to agree on any, where to go to dinner, you know, much less how to spend money worldwide. So it's, it's, a, it's a tough situation of which uh, it is very difficult uh, for anyone to actually tell you with a straight face they know what's going to happen, but that's our best guess. And you are uh, perhaps, I, and I don't say this in a, heart, a heartless fashion, but you are perhaps one of those who says, well, look, if banks have to go bust, so be it. Well, everybody has their philosophy. You got the Keynesian philosophy that you stimulate uh, businesses during bad times and then you, you run a balanced budget during good times. The problem with Keynesian economics historically is they don't run a balanced budget during good times and they don't have the powder to stimulate during bad times. The Austrian school of economics is more of a laissez-faire form of economics. And you're trying to coordinate very difficult things worldwide. It's like gift wrapping an octopus, I call it. Uh, you're trying to coordinate a lot of different situations of economic understanding. And there's also the political overtones. Every country has their own political situ situation. Uh, the most important day of holding this thing together is June 17th when the, during the Greek elections. Uh, that will be very important uh, in terms of the direction in which this thing may well take off. All right, but, 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 but do, you, do, do you think that, that uh, wh whether it's countries or, or, or particularly banks, that we should be prepared to say, you know, small savers are protected by deposit insurance, so... Mr. and Mrs. Joe Smith are okay, and as for the rest, let the banks go if that's what it takes. I don't think we're prepared to say that. We're, we're trying to say there, need to be, there needs to be an FDIC equivalent uh, in, in the European uh, Union in their, in their countries. Uh, that should be a big part of what happens going forward. So there's a confidence that the money is there when, in the banks when you need it. But each country is different, and you have to understand the culture of each country and, and the physical wherewithal of each country. Uh, what drove Spain's problems didn't cause Greek, Greek is, Greeks' problems. Uh, Greek had to slow down the economy. They had okay. uh, tremendous spending. And in Spain, you had contagion and bank real estate loans. So each country's a little bit different. So one solution that fits all is really not the way it always works in these situations. And with June the 17th being almost upon us, Ron, are you prepared to say um, Greece in or out, we, 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 never mind the union, let's just stick with the Eurozone for the moment, in or out the Eurozone by this time next year? We're saying 35%. What we also did too, Richard, with our forecast, we took the probability down to 12 to 18 months from when we will know. We said five years before. We were saying it's 25% chance within five years that, that Greece or some other country like Greece, uh, one of the pigs as they, they're called, leaves the EU. Uh, we're leaving that uh, time frame to a narrower universe now between 12 and 18 months. Uh, and uh, we'll know something pretty soon. June 17th will be a very important date. Uh, you saw what happened to France. The country uh, sided more right. with the uh, stimulus side of the equation, spend more by the uh, government, take on more debt by the government to stimulate the economy. Look, you have all forms of uh, uh, economic theories here. You also have uh, in play cultural issues and anthropology issues and, and world history right. issues, right. et cetera. So it's very difficult to tell what's going to happen in these situations. I'll be in Athens on June the 17th and the 18th covering that election. We hope to talk to you <laughs> to give us some analysis from, uh, from your side of the Atlantic when we get the results. I appreciate you joining me uh, today.